And when it comes to the art of making realistic renders, HDRIs are one of the defining light elements that bring some sense of realism to a shot, from films to games, product, all the way to architectural rendering. With the demand for high quality dynamic range images growing, lots of publishers have made a good number of these that satisfies a huge set of audience. More so, you can actually find some high quality HDRIs for free on some notable platforms like Polyheaven, Textures.com, HDRI Skies, HDRI Map, HDRI Hub, and so on. But what if you would like to create your own HDRI, add direct the landscape, and potentially become your own HDRI artist? Well, those days of wanting are over, as you can now create your own HDRIs totally for free, all thanks to the brand new NVIDIA Gaon Gaon 360 that offers all of these and even more. The brand new NVIDIA Gaon Gaon 360, which is currently in beta, follows the footprint of the previously and widely acclaimed doodle to add NVIDIA Gaon Gaon to create a much more compelling and an easy way of creating HDRI. This simply brings the art of HDRI creation to your fingertips and gives you all of the tools that you need to create your own personalized HDRI. And for you to get started, there's going to be a link in the description that will bring you over to the NVIDIA Gaon Gun beta page where you can test this and see this for yourself. And once you open up the website, what you get is this. You actually have one, two, three, four different canvases which you can explore stuff with. And if you scroll all the way down, you need to actually click on this button to agree to the terms and conditions from NVIDIA, which simply specifies that you don't need to use this for some evil intentions and probably you shouldn't replicate or redistribute this. So with this checked, you can now go all the way up and start creating stuff. On the top, you find the new undo tools that you can work with, the styles that are available, your brush type, and right here, you find a set of elements that are currently available that you can explore with. This takes about 30 seconds to actually calculate and give you the HDRI that you want. So real quick, this deals with the floor and this deals with the sky. And if you would like to play with the landscape, you can click right here and you can define how you like some parts of the sky to look like. And of course, how you also like some parts of the ground to be like, and you can plant some trees, plant some grasses, some straws, some flowers, wherever you want. Now, before we start creating stuff, it is worth mentioning that for you to start making anything, if you like a particular style or filter type, you need to select that filter type from here before you push this button. Let's actually click on this one. So this is the one we'd like to use. We can now click on this button without doing anything here and let's see what we get. This takes about 30 seconds for you to calculate. So it is quite a while for you to just take a coffee and wait for this to load. And once this loads up, you can now see what we have right here. We have the HDRI and if you scroll all the way down, you would see the complete HDRI from this section. If you now want to start painting stuff, of course, you can literally do that. We can go over here and pick some trees and let's just make some trees right there. I would like to reduce the brush size. And if you like to make changes to the brush shapes, you can also make changes to the brush shapes. I can just go back and drop this down a bit and let's go all the way up and do stuff like that. If you get to see that when you're drawing, your lines get scraggly, you shouldn't bother about that because automatically this is going to shape up. So, you know, we're getting those scraggly lines. We're just going to leave them and do some more. And if we like to throw in some grass, of course we can. And once we're done adding the grasses, we can go over to the landscape. Let's actually go to the ground section and see if we can throw some dirt or maybe some sand, some road, I believe. Let's go ahead and define some road right there. So we can have that road going through to this part. And this is basically all we need to do. And once you're done, you can hit this button and give it another 30 seconds to recalculate. In most cases, this doesn't take up to 30 seconds. It just recalculates really, really quick and gets you your result. So we can see that we have this right here. We don't necessarily see the road. I think for some reason we don't get to see the road. And this brings me to something which I see that we may be getting sooner. So with this in beta, there is no eraser. So it simply means you cannot erase stuff but it doesn't mean you cannot fill things up. So we can use the fill tool and fill here with pavement. Okay, so we can fill this entire place with pavement or we can actually fill this entire place with sand. So we can fill this with sand, we can fill this with mud, whatever we want and just simply use that to clean through whatever we don't want to keep. Now with this render result available, there is now tons of things that you can do. If you like to throw in some sun, you can go in and throw in some sunlight. You can also proceed to play with the filter types that is available. And if there's a particular filter type that you like to work with, you can select that filter type and load it up. For the best part, if you're done with whatever you're creating, you can simply download the segmentation map, 
and also download the HDRI. And once you download this, this comes with some interesting results, especially the HDRI one. The HDRI actually exports as a 32-bit JPEG with a resolution of 4096 by 2048, which is like 4K by 2K at 96 dpi. And this means that you can now pick this up and use them in any DCC app of choice and start creating some amazing things. Although this is still in beta, there are tons of things that I would like to see. Just like we have with the Nvidia canvas, maybe having sections and layers and also having the erase brush might come in very handy. And if possible, a much more instantaneous process will be well appreciated. So this is more like it. For those who are thinking about creating HDRIs, you can simply come through and start playing with this and create that particular HDRI that you've always wanted. And of course, if you're thinking about exploring some more tools like this, then you should check out some of the tools made available by the folks at NVIDIA and start exploring with them. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.